One of the most fun activities in Nearpod for students is Time to Climb. And although that was previously only available in live lessons, you can now add it to a student pace lesson. Here's how it works. If you look in the Nearpod lesson library, you can sort by Time to Climb activities. Simply type Time to Climb in the search bar or you'll see it's right here. Time to Climb is one of the featured cards. So I'll click on it once and it does say student paced lessons are now available. You can then look for Time to Climb activities by grade, K through two, three through five, six through eight, nine through 12, or there are weekly current event quizzes that work for grades six through 12. I'll choose one of these. For the week of April 6th, we have a gamified quiz. I can preview the lesson or simply click on it. Previewing it allows me to see all of the questions and activities that are included in the Time to Climb. If you're unfamiliar with this, it's a game similar to Kahoot or Quizzes that asks questions, and as you answer them correctly or incorrectly, your little icon that represents you will be climbing the mountain or flying through space if you choose that interface. This first question talks about the practice of sanitizing chemicals was invented in the late 1800s. I'm pretty sure that was Louis Pasteur, so I'll click that as my option, and if I'm right, I'll climb the mountain, and if not, I'll fall behind. Once I've previewed the lesson and I like what I see, I'll click Add to my library, and it will now appear in my library if I say Show in my library. So here we are. I can launch it either as a live lesson or a student pace lesson. Another way to use one of these is to add it to a lesson you've already created. Let's check that out. I'll go back to my Nearpod library. I'll choose a lesson that I've already made. We'll go with this Nearpod 101 and click Edit. Whenever you want to add an activity between slides, hover your mouse in the white section, click, choose Add Slide, and then you have a choice of either a content slide or an activity. Underneath of activity, you'll see time to climb. And now you can create your own time to climb activity right here by adding questions and putting in whether it is a text or image type answer. You'll use all multiple choice. And then when you're ready to add the next question, use the green add question button. And when you're finished, click save. If you wanna add a time to climb that's already been made from one of the Nearpod libraries, Here's a little workaround for you. You're going to add it by link. So even though I have the presentation open here, I'm going to go to another tab and open the library again, go to the time to climb that I was looking at earlier on current events. I'm going to click student paste and then get the link to this time to climb. So I'll copy this link. You can either right click on it or just use the copy button. Then, back in the lesson I was editing, I'm going to add that time to climb where it belongs as a link. So if I say, okay, now we're ready to jump in and I wanna put a time to climb right here, I'll right click on this, add slide, add content, and then look for web content. Here, I'll paste in that link to the time to climb that I found in the other lesson, save it, and then when I'm finished, save and exit the lesson. If you were to look at this lesson in preview mode, what you'll find is after that slide where I entered the web link, students would be moving through at their own pace, get to the now we're ready to jump in slide, and then on the next slide will be a link that they can click on and go do the time to climb. Now the time to climb that existed in its own lesson exists here within my other lesson. When I'm finished with time to climb, I can then move on to the rest of my activity. So that's a nice little workaround to add a time to climb from your library into another lesson. So we wish you the best of luck with Nearpod and Time to Climb. And if you need more training on this, let us know through the uen.org professional development website.